Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I have finished my Birds Edition Paint Gem Minis. So it is time to de-kit these. I have got my logbook out with my spares listed in there in case I have any new ones. So I have it armed and ready. Now, some of these by Jove, they decided to pop. I have now decided these cases are in-house only. Um, and yeah, these little ones are not going on the travels with me anymore. I must have been really lucky because I've had plenty of these uh, small containers that have given me no problem whatsoever. But recently, this last set is driving me up the wall. Anyway, I do have all these diamonds to pop away. What I do also have is some AB diamonds that I need to put back and a couple that I actually used up completely. So I am still going to keep the bags and put them away, um, but I have used them all up. For the actual birds themselves, I will go through each of these um, and show you how I've done them as I put them in my display book. But just to show you one, this is a parrot where I have put a few ABs in him just to make him a little bit more sparkly. But I say, once they go in the display book, I'll show you them truer. Uh, these are all the ABs that I do still have left. I actually put quite a few in here. Um, partly just because there was, just to give a variety of colours. So where are my square ABs? They're my square ABs. So I need to add these back on to my rings. And quite often I do organise these into colour order. But I tend to rearrange them more when I pull them off when I'm doing another one. So I'm just going to tuck those all in behind. And if I decide to add ABs to any future paint gem minis, I might put them back in order when I do it. But for now, the ABs are done. So first stage that I always do when I am de-kitting squares is to see if I have any that need to go in my heaven and earth design box. Now this used to be a lot fuller because I had my massive project heaven and earth design and I have my mini project. At the moment my massive project has all the diamonds it needs and I'm only putting diamonds aside for my mini project. Um, I may have enough but I've just not checked it off yet. Once my big one is finished, I will then do a stop check on my mini one because I'll be doing that next. Uh, so I'll do a little stop check on it and see if I have enough diamonds. But then I'll also start collecting for my Heaven and Earth Design canvas where I just bought the canvas and still need the diamonds. Um, but what I do want to check, I know that one's going to need to go somewhere. I'm pretty sure these are in it. But I just want to double check for some of these, like 169, which is sort of a bluey grey, whether that one is in there at all. That's probably the one that always gets me a little bit. But 317 is in there. So I'm going to bob that one in. 317, take off the label so I know where I'm up to. Uh, 318 is in there, which is this one. So let's get that grey in. Actually, quite a few different greys for this painting. So 318, 414, you can see I do have multiple bags. They are expanding here, there and everywhere. Um, my columns aren't straight, but do you know what? It's kind of working. It works for now until I have a revamp. Uh, 415 is also in there. Do I have a bag with less in? Yes, I do. 415. 
Okay, 762. I don't think I have that one. No, don't have 762. 3072. No. Uh, 3799. Yes, I do have that one. Uh, both bags are pretty full, so let's just throw these in the top of one of them. There's not too many of them. And then there's no 3865 because I've already done 5200. And many don't tend to top up the two of them. So that's my Heaven and Earth design box. You may have seen I did get out 310. That is because my 310 is also in my Heaven and Earth design and goes in this big fat wallet because these are definitely used in my heaven and earth design. It'll be kind of a shame to see that go when I have all the diamonds I need for heaven and earth designs. But anyway, let's move that round. And let's move those out just so I've got a little bit more wiggle room while I get my diamonds done. So first box is my 100s to 600s. So this is my most flexible box, I would say, out of all of them. So do we have any 100s or 200s? No. We do have a 300. Do we have any more? I'm going to pull out 400s while I'm looking. That's a 400. No, so we don't have any more 300s, but we do have 307. Nice, bright yellow, pretty full, that one. We've got some really nice, bright colours in this one. So that's the 300s done. That also has a 500. So we'll keep that to one side because I'm not seeing any more in there. So I'm doing a little scan. So 402. That's got to be 402. It's the second one in. 402 added. Oh, we actually have a 400 as well. So to go back one, we have a 400. Let's do that one as well. And then we have a 498, which is another whopping full one. So let's take the sticker off that one and off that one that can go back in because it's got no 500s on it. And let's bob in 498 into my jam-packed bag of 498 okay so that is my 400s done i have a 500 of 519 and i've only got the one of these though we do have quite a few that are 600. So they're 600, so's that, so's that, so's that. Okay, that is all the 600s, starting right at the top of the shop with another really full bag. So 600 is used a lot. That actually has quite a few little stragglers as well in that tub. So 600 done, then we have 601, not quite as many of those, but still a gorgeous, vibrant pink. There's some really, really nice, beautiful, bright colours in this set. Okay, that's got a 700 on it, so I'm going to pop it to the side, and then I want 603. This one doesn't have any 700s on it. It does have 800s, but I'm just 
trying to stick, you know, I don't want to start ending up with diamonds all over the place. So I'm just sticking with keeping aside any that have the next batch of numbers. Then we've got 605. Not quite got any empty tubs yet. Well, I suppose we emptied 310, didn't we, really? If we're getting funny over it. Then we've got 666, which is right near the back, and another one that you guys all probably recognise the number of. So, therefore, it is a popular one and rather full. And then we'll have top of the shop 699. So I've popped my little divider in so I know where I'm up to. You will also notice I do have some little stars on some of these labels. They were just to tell me the ones that I had got an AB for. Um, but what I tended to do on the painting was I would, when I started like a new mini, I would have a look at my ABs first, decide if any would suit that painting and if so where and I would add my ABs in the first instance and then I would go back and fill in the rest. So my next box is 700s to 900s. This is definitely my box that screams. Um, so I have two 700s here, another one here. Okay, so I just have a few 700s, but a few that are screaming. Screaming in my spare storage for space. So 700, that's got an 800 on it. What is next? That is next, 740. I do try and do them in number order within my batches. So I know I've pulled out all the 700s, but I then do try and do them in number order if I can. If I miss one, it's not a huge drama because of course I can just move up and down accordingly uh, but it does make it just that little bit easier if I can do them in the correct order but there we go seven four seven and then we also have seven nine seven on this one so all of them seem to be extremely popular colors for this one which is not surprising because they're all really bright colours. Getting my bags to go back in is always a little bit trickier. Okay, 700s down. So 800s, we have a couple more there. Do we have any more? No. So 820 is my first one, which I reckon will be a quite popular one. Yes. Right after 819, probably my next fattest bag in my little stash here. But this bookmark makes it so much easier because as soon as you take a big one out, all the others go, oh, I can breathe. And they all take in the space that it was and it's like, where did this bag go? So I do find that the little bookmarks, which were actually requested by a subscriber um, and then designed by us, are they just they had a fantastic idea. It just you know peeps up, peeps up above of where you're popping your diamonds. You see how big that one is as well. I'm still going to try and squeeze them in because it's not a lot of diamonds. Uh, but I will be happy when that has a few less in it. Um, yeah, it's just it's, it's just so much easier to de-kit. I'm not having to try and find it. I know sometimes I did pull up the card and prop it and sometimes it would work. But sometimes it didn't, depending on how full it was. So it's really nice to have it definitely working. 
Right, these have all got 900 in. That is definitely my first. Then it's those. Then it's those scattered. It's sort of this one, this one, this one. But I've got them in the rough order. So we'll start with the lovely 907. This is becoming my favourite colour to add on a painting is lime green, just because it just looks amazing. But 907, then we want 945. That's actually quite a bit of a jump down my 900s. Nine four five. Oh, we're going to start seeing some tubs being empty now, which makes me feel like we're getting there. Not got any new colours though. Maybe it's because it is the bright ones, and I have done a few, quite a few bright paintings before. Maybe that's what's making it not sort of be. A load of new colours. Though I did have a couple, well a couple that had only been in my heaven and earth design last time, um, but I hadn't had any spares of them added for quite a while in my last set, but that was lots of browns and creams, but because it was the bug set it was lots of different shades rather than just you know, probably the most popular shades. Okay, definitely struggling with getting my 900s back in this tub. So I flipped to get to 964 and then I'll go back to getting to 972. I might have to just take that out. It's like my little divider at the end. If I take out those, See, look, I've got loads of extra dividers at the end because I keep taking them out of these. Um, okay, see if that just gives it enough room just to keep going for a bit longer. Then 972, last of my 900s. another one done and another box done so you pop my divider flat and last but by no means the least we have my 3000s these two rows are kind of nice this one three eight hundreds is jam packed but they're my three seven hundreds to pop in so three seven six one See, a lot more reasonably half-filled bag of diamonds, a lot nicer. And of course, we're getting to finish all of these little pots off now, which really makes you feel like we're getting somewhere. Getting tidied up. I feel like I've actually done a lot of paint gem minis throughout June and because of the June waffle um, they've not been getting de-kitted so they've just sort of been sat here waiting to be de-kitted so I'm rather excited because it also means I get to kit a load more up now once I finish these. Let's squeeze these ones in though so we've got 3812 Actually, quite a popular colour in diamond painting by the looks of this. That or I've had one painting that's given me a bucket ton of spares. One or the other. But yeah, some colours I think just don't stick in our minds the same and are actually more popular than what we think. And we realise that as our spares build up. 3819. That's another sort of, it's not a lime green, it's like a, a zesty yellow. Nice zesty colour, I like it. Okay, 3843, three. I'm going to get my card ready for that one. And get my sticker off this one. 
So then three, eight, four, three. Bob, my few leftovers. So far, I have never run out of a colour on Paint Gem. Um, I've always had plenty of colours and always end up with some to pop away. Of course, on this one, some colours I would have had more of because I replaced the ABs, uh, but it's not the case with all of them. Um, many of them I've used used loads and still end up with loads left it depends on the percentages of how many are in the kits but i didn't need to update my logbook for that one which was a little bit weird um but the diamonds are away that's always my first step with a paint gem mini so stay tuned i will be doing a video where i get these in my display book get them all with their little name stickers um, and pop them away pretty and then of course I will then be able to spin my decision wheel and kit another one up. So stay tuned for all those videos coming in the future. Okay why are you not sitting? Oh because the diamond paintings are actually really thick they're taking all the space in the bottom but anyway thank you so much for joining me for this de-kitting and i'll speak to you all again soon <laughs>